Well, I don't even know how to start this video. Um, it's not a video I ever imagined myself making. But uh, I guess I can start off by saying thank you, you know, for to everyone that reached out, um, offered help, support. You know, I was overwhelmed by the amount of like messages I received, uh, checking up on me. You know, like everybody had checked up on me. Thank you so much. Um, I got like I expected a couple DMs here and there, you know, but not to the extent as to which it got. I received what well, around like 60 DMs and about like another 20 Snapchats, you know text messages you know like it was a lot you know like I posted that story expecting something you know like not that I wanted people to check up on me I guess it's just kind of like you you know like your closest friends will always be like oh hey like what happened how are you so forth so forth you know but even people I didn't know you know were sending me messages like wishing me well like hoping for the best you know and uh I just want to say thank you, you know like, I want to start off by saying thank you about all that like for all that um it was truly humbling and overwhelming um so if you guys can't tell, like I'm inside the Pathfinder right now, meaning I got it back. It's back at my house. Um, it's been a week today and I haven't heard back from insurance. I've tried to call in my adjuster, you know, trying to deal with all that, but no answer, no response. So I have to try to find a way to get into contact with her. But the um, reason I took the car back home was because it was starting to add up. So what could have been a $140 like a storage fee, tow fee, whatever, ended up costing about 450 because it was uh, racking up storage fees at the tow yard. Um, so I haven't heard from my insurance adjuster, so I was like, you know what, screw it. I don't want it to get to like too much to before like uh, they tell me, hey, like you have to go get it or whatever. So I just decided to bring it home. Um, like I said, again, I want to thank everybody that reached out. It's, it's, it was truly like overwhelming, like how many like people reached out and like offered like the best, or yeah, wished for the best, I'm sorry. But um, it offered help is what I was trying to say. But uh, I guess, I mean, uh, I'm inside the car right now so I can show you guys some of the damages, you know, like what happened. I'll, I'll kind of go over what happened, you know, but um, more in detail, which honestly, there isn't much to say. Like, I uh, just fell asleep. Like, that's it. I wasn't drinking. I wasn't driving like crazy anything. But uh, both airbags deployed. Uh, the beam crushed my A pillar destroy the window destroy that door you know that door no longer opens that's a closed door supposedly um the windshield got destroyed other than that though everything else seems pretty fine like my stereo works um like little things here and there work there's nothing wrong with the back you know uh let me show you guys up here some of the bigger damage so that wheel completely like broke because uh i was actually i caught air so because of that when it landed all the weight just destroyed that um and here's the front you know like it's the worst of it i guess but you know this right here this right here you know is you can see through it. You can see my hand. I probably shouldn't be touching it, you know? Like, the door got all crunched up. Um, so what happened was, I fell asleep on my way home. It wasn't even that late. It was probably like 1 a.m. Knocked out. Ended up hitting a street light. Not like a street light with like the red, yellow, green, but like a street, like one of, uh, one of those lights, I guess. Right there. But it's like the double-sided one, whatever. Fell asleep, hit it the bar or the the pole broke in three so this was the initial hit and then part of it came down on this side and just the concrete because it's like a concrete pole landed right here destroyed this this and like the door is closed right supposedly but like from the impact it just like completely crunched this whole thing up um the wheels are stuck facing left I think it destroyed the rack and pinion you know like all that good stuff can't turn anything um, but yeah I mean some some of the things are good you know some people are already asked me for parts uh, I'm gonna try to see if I can make a little bit of money off of it not even make money just kind of like not have so much money go down the drain um, let me open the door 
there were a lot of parts that are good, you know, people are already requesting these little dials, um, things like that. Um, I know some people need seats. Sometimes these cars don't tend to come with like the best seats because they're old, you know. Um, I have somebody asked me for that rear tire carrier already. These are kind of rare to find, not rare to find, but like not all of them come with it, so things like that. But, um, but yeah, I mean, this wheel too has some like negative camber for some reason. It's not supposed to be pointing like that, it's supposed to be like straight, and now it's like angled like that. As far as my injuries go, all I got was bruises, cuts, and like scrapes. Nothing like terrible, no broken like body parts, no concussion, maybe a mild one because there's like a ringing in my ear, but other than that, I mean, I've got to say I'm pretty lucky to be, to have been able to just jump out of the car when I did, when all this happened. Um, it was one of those things where I think that everything that could have gone right did go right and that's why i'm able to i was able to just jump out of the car and walk away from this um future plans like i said i haven't heard from the adjuster or anything so i don't really know what's gonna happen i don't think i'm gonna get money for it um i mean at the end of the day I'm at fault. it's not like we're gonna blame the pole right it's all on me basically but um there really hasn't been any communication here's my skid plate this thing was like quarter inch thick steel and it completely like crunched it up and this thing weighs probably like 40 to 50 pounds but yeah you know um i don't know what's gonna happen next i don't know if i'm gonna get another car soon if i do get another car soon i don't know what i would be getting um it all kind of depends on how insurance plays out and how uh where i'm at financially like i don't want to keep spending money that I don't necessarily need to because I don't need another car. I mean, it'd be something fun to start over again, be able to document at this time. Because I know when I first started my channel, most of the stuff, most of the cars have already been done except for the Integra. But Integra and the bike. But other than that, though, this this was pretty much done. There was like very few things I did to it, like the bumper. Um, but everything else, I like, honestly, the bumper is the only thing that I didn't that I didn't do before I started recording, like for YouTube. But. Uh, but yeah, you know, as of now, like, again, I want to say thank you to everybody that reached out for all the, the nice messages, the nice comments. Um, I don't know how else to thank you guys, you know. Um, I'll be keeping you guys updated, both on Instagram. If you haven't followed me on Instagram, make sure you do so. That's probably where I'm the most active. Um, but Instagram will probably be the best way to kind of keep up with all the updates. And... Uh, but yeah, like as soon as I find anything out, I'll keep you guys updated. I'll probably make another video here. Uh, I'm gonna start taking some of the stuff out. I'm gonna start like, I'm gonna vacuum like all the glass, clean everything, start pulling all my things out of it so I can start getting it ready for the junkyard if that's what's gonna happen with it. But um, but yeah, like I said, uh, just make sure you, uh, if you haven't, if you wanna subscribe, you know, to keep up with it, like that'd be appreciated, you know, every subscriber counts. But uh, for now, it's all I, I really have to offer, all I really have to, like all the updates I have basically. Um, but like I said, I'll keep you guys updated and uh, we'll see what happens next. Uh, thank you and uh, I'll catch you guys next time.